Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, 2009, and today we're reading Deuteronomy chapter 3. And we see here in this chapter that <coughs> the Lord, uh, towards the end, which is what I want to bring up for Lessons for Life, towards the end, the Lord is speaking to Moses, and he's telling Moses to uh, strengthen Joshua and encourage him. And it reminds me of even uh, something we read back in Numbers, and it was a comment made on the blog by Grandpa about when the Lord was telling Moses that you know he wasn't going to take him to the promised land, that he wasn't bitter about it at all, and that you know it shows um, a lesson that Grandpa saw from it was that it shows how Moses was able to transfer the leadership and wasn't bitter about it, but was following the commandment of the Lord. And we see here in this chapter towards the end where the Lord told uh, Moses to really strengthen Joshua and to encourage him. And that's what, like I said, I want to bring up for lessons for life of how we need to even uh, realize that there's certain things that we're not going to be able to do uh, even in this lifetime or not necessarily just in this lifetime, but just um, in a day-to-day -day basis. There might be some stuff that you can't do. And uh, this is something I'm learning over and over again. And I think I'm, I think I got the hang of it now that, you know, I can't do it all by myself. Um, you know, a lot of things when they come up and I just want to do it and take care of it because a lot of times I feel that, you know, I'm the only one that can do it. I, you know, I'll do it the best even in the office. But there's only so much that I can do by myself. But with the help of others, then you can get so much more accomplished. So what we need to do is to empower others by uh, strengthening them, encouraging others to do uh, things as well. That, don't, that not only helps you to get the things you need to get done, and but it also helps them. It's like how we see here Moses and Joshua. He was empowering Joshua so that he could take them into the promised land. Because Moses, you know, Moses already did a lot. He took them from being slaves in Egypt, carried them all through, and they defeated so many different people. They're up to the point right at the outskirts of the promised land. He did a lot already. But now it's for him to uh, encourage Joshua, strengthen Joshua, empower Joshua so that Joshua can now take on and take the mantle and run with it to that next level. And even in life, that's what we want to do. Uh, just be able to empower others, encourage others, strengthen others so that, you know, once we are finished with our time, once we're done with this earth, then the next people can do, our, our children and our children's children can take over even from where we are, and not just even our children, but other people that you are able to influence in a way that you're empowering them and strengthening them. So they can take that part and then run with it and go and just, you know, multiply you really even that much more. So like I said, there's only so much that you can do by yourself. But if you can empower another person, you can strengthen, encourage another person, then there's so much more that you can actually have a hand on getting accomplished. Because you're now really multiplying your abilities into all these different people who are helping to fulfill what you couldn't do really by yourself. Um, so that's what I got for this and I want to share for Lessons for Life of uh, just how you know Moses was now supposed to strengthen, empower, encourage Joshua to take it to the next level because he's already done, he's done a lot already and now Joshua is going to take it and he's going to run with it and lead them into the promised land. That's what the Lord commanded Moses to do. So that's something we could definitely learn from in life and even, you know, I keep going back to even Lessons for Life. This is something, even what I would do Lessons for Life, you know, I'm uh, encouraging others to read the, the, the scriptures because that's where true life is found. That's where true, um, you know, everything that you need to know about life and how to live is found in the Word. And that's empowering, that's encouraging, that's strengthening others so that now once they start reading the Word, then they start to get an understanding and develop a relationship with God for themselves and then now they can run with it and go in the direction they need to go. But, you know, that's how Lessons for Life is. So now, as I explain the little bit that I explain every morning, uh, you know, because I'm not saying I'm going through everything, I'm not saying that, you know, I always say there's so much more to read from these scriptures, but if I just get you started with just a little bit, and then you take it, and you take it to the next level, and you read it, and you get something on top of what I've got, or even com something completely different, and just take it to the next level, then you can go off, and you can start doing something even greater than what I'm doing, but it's about encouraging others around us, and that's really a key for today's lesson for life. And I just want to share with uh, you that creates up a wonderfully blessed day today. Uh, look for others today to encourage, to strengthen, to empower. Um, and you see how much better your day goes as well too today. So creates up a wonderfully blessed day today and we will talk again tomorrow.